I want to briefly run through registering a student athlete for an event for coaches and parents so that we have a clear understanding of the process. I've logged into my personal uh, pit zone account and because I'm a coach, you see my coaching information first. Otherwise, uh, the parent, if they're not a coach, will see just their child's information. Uh, Coaches just need to scroll down to their particular child. You can see parent of Owen Moore, Caldwell County Composite Rider, and then you can see all of the events. You can see that the status for all of these is closed, but there is one that is open, this test event that I created, and I created a field limit for this particular event so that you could see what that would look like. So it shows right here how many, how many riders can register for that particular student athletes event. So my son is JV2. And so this shows that there are 50 slots for JV2 boys left. And that's how I know that he can still register. So I click on this register Owen Moore for events. And then that takes me to this screen. You can see the description of the event. The only event that will appear here are any ones that are open. And so here you can see the cost of the event. You can see that there are 50 slots left. I click the checkbox and I then say update, order, and continue. And that's going to bring me to a familiar shopping cart, just like any online shopping experience. You see the event, you see the number of seats that you've registered for, and then you click checkout. Confirm your billing address and shipping address. Click save and continue. And then here is where I choose my method of payment. For scholarship student athletes, there will be a button here that says apply credits. They have credits on their account in the amount for all of the races, and they just apply the credits as needed in order to register their student athletes for the races. Otherwise, if you have already put in card information, it will appear here. If you need to put in new card information, you can see that option here. After you click this, click save and continue. Now this gets to that payment screen. So this is where you have to make payment. Click place order. And then you get this confirmation, your order has been processed successfully. If the parent abandons before they see this green check mark, then they've not completed the process. What they will see when they go back to their home screen will be a bright yellow banner with a yellow triangle and an exclamation point in it. And it will say you have one order that is unpaid for. And it it gives the link for them to finalize that process. So any warning sign, that's something that they ha need to act on in order to complete that registration. We see this when people abandon the process midway through uh, and that somehow creates confusion for them that they've registered when they really haven't. And so then here you'll see that my son now is listed as registered for this event. So that's the other double check. If you see registered, then you know that that process has gone through. I hope that this provides a pretty clear explanation of how to go through this process. If there are any questions, please reach out to me and I'll uh, get back to you as quickly as possible.